Drink responsibly, please. Drink whatever you want. Don't serve me that, though. Hey guys, my name is Danny Talen. I am the owner of La Mia Blanca Mezcaleria, and today we are going to be reviewing these celebrity tequilas. So the first one we're gonna go ahead and try, we do have Santo Tequila by Sammy Hagar, Van Halen, and Guy Fieri. This tequila used to actually be Adam Levine with Sammy Hagar. So this is Santo Tequila Fino, and it's a Blanco. One of the top 20 tequilas in the world. Let's see. Bottle's all right. I should pour it out like he has a nothing like. It smells like hand sanitizer, so I mean, during a pandemic, why not, you know, I guess. Let's taste it. That's uh, gonna be a no. So it is an 80 proof tequila. Did Guy take us to Flavortown? He did not. All right guys, so next up, I hate to do this because I love him. This is Nick Jonas' uh, Villa One. I mean, it's Villa, but Villa One. And he did this with John Barbados. It says it's life as it should be. Clear bottle, no story, nothing. Just, I guess, to the point. So let's try this one out. All right, so. There's not much of a smell to this. It's kind of just there. It, it has the smell of a uh, rubbing alcohol, but very, very, very light. No, um, sorry guys. I love him, but this was not it. Look at the Jumanji cast rolling the wrong dice. All right guys, so next up, we are going to try with all this these accolades behind her. I wish I had braids on and a hat and I was in a horse pulling up. Miss Kendall Jenner's 818 Tequila Blanco. She says they work closely with local family owned uh, farms in Jalisco to bring you the smoothest, most natural and best tasting tequilas possible. Only the highest quality ingredients are used in this creation. They all say that. So she basically says that the reason why she named 818 right here in the bottle is because it's home to her, but the earth is home to all of us. I guess she heard the backlash on so putting in a person that was Mexican behind her. But this is one of the things that we actually need to touch base in. Just because the person is brown does not mean that that's some sort of affiliation with it being a good tequila or anything like that. It turns into one of those cash grab moments. If you're getting backlash for something and it's something that you can fix, just learn about it. All right, so with this 818, I'm reading this and it says that it's smooth and natural but there's no smell to it. All right, let's, I guess let's try her. Cheers. Do you guys like cereal or marshmallows? This tastes like marshmallows. Hold on guys, I need some water. There's a lot of sweetness to it. Kind of only makes me wonder what is being added to this. It almost has like this cinnamon taste to it do better. All right, guys, so next up we have Motorcycle Diaries, George Clooney, Casamigos. I see this being ordered a lot. This is the only tequila that I can actually say someone has not been, do you have George Clooney's tequila? Like, it's actually been like, do you have Casamigos? Bottle is, eh, whatever. It says that it's tequila 100% de, de agave. Y'all, these shots are getting to me. Why do y'all order this? I knew it. All right, so the bottom of the bottle says, notes of a smooth vanilla finish. Guys, drink whatever you want to drink. But if your shit tastes like vanilla, what are they giving you? This just came out. Am I pressed? A thousand percent. Adam Levine with his wife, the hottie, just made a tequila. Kelly Rosa. Kelly Rosa has no story on it, but if you go to the website, you will actually see that it is a Mexican fusion blended with a California lifestyle. What the hell does that mean? I have no fucking idea. You guys know his song, that sugar song? When I read the description, that's what I felt like this was. Like, Pablo Bottom, like, sugar. So he did this tequila with a tint in it. Uh, he said he aged it in some barrels to get that tone. Did you though? Oh, you guys. So this is kind of cute. This is their bottle. Their bottle is actually nice. Their top is all glass. Look at you, Adam Levine. He said, Victoria's Secret money, where? On the tops, girl. Cheers. Y'all. 
So it has this smell, like tarty. It's not pungent, it's just tarty. Oh, damn, okay. Uh, um, uh, I just swallowed a flower. What? I'm so confused. It's very, very floral, but it smells tarty. But it doesn't taste like what it smells. Would I tell you guys to try this? Yeah, but to try it, because I want to know if like y'all are tasting the same thing. If you wanted to buy this, sip it neat. Don't don't blend it in a cocktail. It seems to have like some sort of like balance to where you wouldn't need to add anything to it. It's different. It, it's different. Like I can't even tell you if I like it. Y'all, this top though is really cute. He released two. So he released a uh, Rosa and this uh, Añejo. This one is set to be in a barrel for 18 months. There's supposed to be some sort of a toffee and vanilla, which is like what I hate the most, vanilla in a tequila. Y'all, it smells like Starbucks. Oh, Sorry guys. <clears throat> Cut real quick. Guys, uh, guys, I knew it. I knew it. Trust your instincts. Adam, Adam, Bahati. I mean, if you want to go buy something that's going to do the trick, I suppose, but the trick is going to be is just going to numb your mouth. And the smell is different from the taste. The smell is like, okay, Starbucks, what's up? Let's wake up. But then it's like, wake the fuck up. That's not the wake up I wanted. So ranking, you know, on the presentation, I mean, I would just give it to Adam, to be honest. Like, it's gorgeous. Your bottle is nice. It's an aesthetic. There's an aesthetic to this. Tasting wise, though, this one is the most memorable. I honestly thought I was going to grill it. I don't know, I'm tasting flowers. Thank you for watching. Let me know how you guys feel about these. If you so happen to find them at a bar so you don't have to like spend on the bottle, go for it. People want to say that it's cultural appropriation and things like that. I do believe that celebrities can work to help out. Granted, I get it, it's your first time, but this is what I mean when I say that people should actually research. It takes years to do something like this.